Local News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Friday, Maryland. We're dry out there across the state of Maryland, dealing with some patchy fog this morning. But this is nothing compared to what our friends farther southwest of us are still dealing with. This is the remnants of Francine still spreading intense rainfall from St. Louis out towards Arkansas and even stretching into portions of Virginia, the Carolinas this morning. The Deep South still getting in on some of those thunderstorms and even the potential for flooding. Here, right around Maryland, we're just dealing with the potential for some patchy fog, and it's already starting to limit visibilities in some spots northwest of the bay, especially over towards Westminster and Columbia, seeing less than a quarter of a mile, less than a half mile being seen up towards Parkton in the Hereford zone. So just like yesterday, you need to use those low beams and reduce your speed when you're heading out and about on your morning commute because it looks like this fog and even some of this mist is going to stick around throughout the mid morning time frame, right around 9 to 10 o'clock. Temps are starting off in the upper 50s to even the mid 60s out there. So right around where they were yesterday along the Beltway, sitting mostly in the 60s this morning with the exception of Columbia, starting things off at 58. Here's a look at your bus stop planner. We're still going to be dealing with this fog throughout the mid morning time frame. So just let the kids know that before they leave the house and head out to the bus. Temperatures right around 9 o'clock, 67 degrees. And today, once again, we're going to be rising back into the lower 80s, just dealing with a little bit more in the way of cloud cover compared to yesterday. If you want to hit the links this afternoon, skies are looking mostly dry today. Fair weather. It is going to feel a tad bit sticky as we do increase those dew points. So the amount of moisture in the air, mostly ranging in the low to mid 60s throughout the day. So you might want that extra spritz of hairspray. Taking a glance at future casts, we will be seeing a few more breaks in the cloud deck as the day moves forward. So more clouds in the morning, a little bit more sunshine this afternoon. And then into your Saturday, starting off with some cloud cover before it really starts to thin out. And we are looking at a mostly sunny weekend on tap and feeling very summer like I am tracking tropical depression seven hasn't become a tropical storm just yet. That's expected today as it begins its west northwesterly track. It's moving pretty slowly though at about 16 miles per hour. And then this little disturbance right here is a very low chance of formation over the next two to seven days because it's encountering a lot of dry air across the northern portion of the Leeward Islands. So that is not conducive for tropical development, but we'll still keep an eye on it for you. Looking at your seven day forecast, we'll be ranging in the 80s both days this weekend, seeing ample sunshine for the Swim Across America event, partly cloudy early next week, and then rain chances start to ramp up from Tuesday to Thursday, highs in the upper 70s and low 80s.